At first it's a student project. We have 10 months to produce a new car. You have to finance it, you have to build it. Preparing for a race is, is very hard. In the end you never know what to expect. Um, basically this week everything that could have gone wrong went wrong. Will we be able to fix it? So I'm Alex and I'm the CEO of the PFL Racing Team. At first it's a student project, so we are a Formula student team. Formula student is basically a championship at the student level, so only bachelor and master's students are allowed into the competition. It's an international single-seater competition and to make it simple, it's Formula One at the student level, basically. I think first of all, we have to talk about the context of the team. So EPFL Racing Team is a team from EPFL, which is one of the best engineering schools in the world. And just by belonging to that school, you always need to push innovation further. I mean, there's no point in making a project if you're just doing what everyone else has done already. So the goal with our project is not only to build an electric car, but it's also to push the boundaries of what has been done within other teams. We're just a three-year-old team, but we need to catch up with teams that have been doing this for 15 years. And we're doing that uh, at exponential speed. It is more than 80 people working on a car. We have 10 months to produce a new car every year. Uh, you have to finance it, you have to build it. So it's, it's quite the challenge. The design of the car started last year already, uh, at the end of the semester, so between February and, and June, just the first parts. And then we really started designing the final product in September, until around December, and also we started manufacturing at that time. So it, it's a process that takes many months, and up until the last minute we need to redesign some parts so that we are in the regulations of the competition. My name is Christian Hartiner. I'm the managing director of Dassel Systems Switzerland. I'm working since 2016 for Dassel Systems and uh, we started some years ago the partnership with EPFL here in Switzerland. Partnership with the racing team started when uh, the student uh, racing challenge came up and then uh, we discussed what we can do for them, really to sponsor them and finally we came to an agreement that it would uh, fit best if we provide them our solutions to really design, engineer and build the car. Yeah, we provided first our Katia portfolio to the EPFL racing team, of course, for designing and engineering the car. This was highly appreciated uh, by them. But then we saw really the need for more decentralized collaboration, more decentralized innovation, because also the team grew. So we shifted the gear and onboarded them on our collaborative innovation platform called 3D Experience. So this gives them really the freedom to interact, interoperate directly on one platform also to really focus on the same model, on the same project status, having also solved the, the demand of data consistency. Hi, I'm Alexi and I'm the aerodynamic team leader in the EPFL racing team. It's an iterative process like aerodynamics. You, you design, you, you try something, then you put it in the CFD software and uh, you see if it makes a end of downforce or foot to the car and then try to change something and uh, see if it helps and then change again and uh, redo it. Hi, I'm Gabriel. I'm uh, the team leader of the powertrain division here at TPFL. My team is working on the gearbox design, the cooling system, the drive shafts and the integration of the motors in the chassis. We start with a lot of discussion. We take the previous designs, we look into it, we discuss about what is good, what is bad, and uh, we optimize them. We use the 3D experience platform also to 
do topological optimization. I worked on Mercury and the, the things we wanted to improve for the new car Artemis is uh, mainly the flat floor that wasn't working very well on uh, Mercury. It was producing about 15% of the downforce and for F1 cars, for example, it's around 50% of the downforce. On the flat floor, what we, what we changed is there were some little fins on Mercury, like 11 fins, so 11 channels under the, the diffuser. This wasn't working really well, so we reduced the number of channels to, to three and we rethought the, the curves of the, the diffuser and it was working uh, much better. So the, the flat floor, it, it's pretty simple how it works. The air is accelerated under the flat floor and then it slows down very well on the, on the diffuser and this really sucks the car on the flat floor part of the car. I'm Anna Hauser, I am the Vice President of the EPFR Racing Team and I am Head of Communications. The most interesting thing that I've seen and the most inspiring is the car, like the actual car. So you look at a car and you think, okay, it's a car, but from my point, now it's 70 people's little project, little passion heart project that have come together in some miraculous way, superbly coordinated into this thing that, I mean, it's lovely, it's pretty, which is my thing, but it works, which is just completely beyond anything that I could have imagined. The name Artemis actually came from a public voting within the team. So we wanted to keep the themes from previous cars, so Orion, Mercury, some mythology. And, and then we just asked for proposals of names. And then everyone just voted and it was the majority that chose Artemis. On a les tests le 3 juin, donc c'est là où on va évaluer la capacité de cette voiture que vous allez voir dans pas très longtemps pour voir sa fiabilité, régler plein de détails et surtout le début de la saison le 14 juillet à Zurich. My name is Gabriele Soboda. I'm currently working at Zauber Motorsports and I used to be a member of the EPFL racing team. I think that the common challenges between a Formula student racing team and a Formula One racing team are around production. You need to be able to produce a part that will withstand the, the efforts around the track, but that will also be legal. So you need to have the best possible tools to make your parts legal, strong enough, resistant to the efforts, and make sure all parts work together in a harmonious way to optimize the way your, your car can, uh, can run. We are very restricted um, from the competition with uh, safety rules. It's, it's a bit stressful because you, you have to get the car all together and all has to work well. You can have the fastest car, but if it, if it can't run on the, on the track, then you might as well not show up. There is always a, a probability that something goes bad. Either the car uh, doesn't work, or the pilot make a mistake, it can uh, happen very quick and uh, we'll do our best to, to avoid it, but you never know. So we're here in Zurich for our first uh, competition of the season with the PFL racing team, so it's the home competition. So, uh, one of the most important points for us. My name is uh, Hugo. Uh, I'm in the team, for, it's been like three years. So, I'm uh, the most ancient uh, in the team. Previously, I was responsible for the mechanical part uh, of the vehicle, but now uh, I switch on the electrical side and uh, I worked on a power limiter and uh, also a simulation on the car. So it's kind of a big uh, training for the main competitions that's come later in the summer. Uh, so the goal is truly to uh, learn uh, a lot from this competition, what we can improve for the rest of the summer and uh, take a lot of experience uh, for the rest. So I'm 
Gauthier Vuitton. I'm mainly the technical director of EPFL Racing Team and also one of the drivers. Day to day during the event, uh, our main goal is to pass scrutineering, so be able to drive fastly. So that means preparing the car to be on its A level uh, rule wise, uh, check everything that everything is legal concerning the rules, uh, that the systems are working, and then preparing also all of the documentation that we need to show to the judges to prove that our car is uh, rule compliant. <laughs> So the engineering design uh, is all about showing that your car uh, is well designed in an uh, engineering manner so that you made the right choices based on the uh, number of cars that you already built, uh, your system that you try to increase the performance of uh, the good systems. There are uh, inspections you need to pass for uh, before your car is able to race and uh, one of them is the rain test. So basically they are just spraying water on the car uh, to see if uh, your car and your battery are well uh, isolated because if your uh, high voltage battery is linked to uh, your chassis for example, if you come and touch it you uh, can uh, get electrocuted. So the goal is to check if uh, Spraying water on your car doesn't trigger this, this kind of error. Uh, unfortunately, uh, it happened. We had to take uh, all the electronics out of the car uh, yesterday to dry it, and uh, we, found, uh, we found the issue. We had the chance that the high voltage battery was not involved, so it's uh, easier and uh, safer also. And uh, now uh, we are fixing it. We're prepping uh, everything up and then uh, we're going, so uh, hopefully it's going to be fine. <laughs> The skid pad it consists of uh, doing two laps uh, right, going right, with a 9 meter radius, nice. and then two laps uh, left. And the only time that counts are the second laps of each turn. So you have to one lap to accelerate and then one full. So on the first run, I, I hit three cones. So it, with this, we lose uh, a lot of points. And so the second one, I didn't hit. And, uh, it was a good point and I think we went uh, pretty fast so it's cool. Allez, allez, ouais, ouais. 
So I'm uh, one of the drivers. I was um, running for the autocross event, which is a quick lap around the circuit, and uh, also the endurance event, which is a, a race of 22 kilometers. So we are quite disappointed for the autocross event. We managed to, to set a time, but it wasn't what we were aiming for. There were electrical problems in the car, mainly when you accelerated too hard, uh, the car just uh, stopped. This meant that we had to be very gentle on the gas pedal and try to keep as much speed as possible on the track. Uh, I didn't manage it because I just raged in the car, but uh, Gabriel managed to keep his calm and put up a, a nice run without stops. And then in the endurance today, we had the same problem because we did not manage to fix it. It was a big flop. <laughs> yeah, we, we didn't manage to, to finish the, the endurance. In the first three laps, the car shut down and uh, we, we didn't manage to, to get it back running. So, um, yeah, very disappointed uh, for today, but um, we'll learn from that and uh, try to get, uh, to get it right next time. Will we be able to fix it? Yeah, I'm sure of it. It's quite early in the summer, this competition, so it's quite normal that the car needs a little bit more test to, to set up everything right. Uh, so yes, we, we are quite happy with, uh, with how this uh, week uh, went, but um, we, we want to aim uh, better for, for these next competitions. So yeah, overall it's a success. The biggest one is the finals for the engineering design, which means that the design that I chose with uh, all the team leaders uh, are great and that our car makes sense. Showed us that we managed pretty well all of this, even though we thought that we were going to be like in the average for engineering design. We ended up against AMZ, one of the best teams in the world, in the final. So yeah, this was a great surprise. I mean, of course I'm proud of the team. You have to. Uh, we came a long way uh, up until here. We, we didn't have a car that, that was able to drive before we came into the competition. We didn't test the car with full battery and they just made it work in a few days by having sleepless nights and all those things. So, I mean, you can only be proud of what the team achieved uh, and, and happy about it as well, because this is promising for the future. Yeah, I'm confident with my team. I think um, we are all uh, very invested in, the, in this project. We are all working together to make this, uh, this car uh, fast and uh, to, to get back home with uh, trophies, I hope. I believe that this car is the best car we've made. I believe that Artemis is everything that we've been dreaming of. I'm fully convinced that they will be highly successful and I wish them all the wins that they can have. Seeing how this car looks, I, I can't predict the future, but I really hope uh, they can score some, some great results at the different competitions that will take part and really hope they can actually win some of them.